the dog barking. <laughs> Fucking dog. We live in the middle of nowhere. And there's still a goddamn dog. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zillia. In the last episode, I swapped cables and this game looks 40 times better. It doesn't look like a muddle of brown crap anymore. Yay! In the last episode, we well, we figured out that uh, Mila is really Maxwell, learning to be a human pretty much. Never, never had to do these things in her life. She never had to eat, she never had to sleep, she never had to learn how to fight, you know, nothing. She... The spirits literally just controlled her 24-7. Kind of, kind of strange. But, let's see what you have to say. There are lots of places that have unstable spirit climbs, but the spot is spirit blah 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 blah. That's what she said. <laughs> that, yeah, uh, but, I, words. They're kind of hard today. <laughs> Alright, we don't need to rest. I just saved. Ooh, you look out of, out of place. Ujul has been really flourishing over the last few years. The king has broken with long-standing custom to make all sorts of needed reforms. Alright, well. Let's get the hell out of here. We need to go uh, towards Niakara now, right? Talk to Alvin and head out. Oh, that's what we need to do. I like that. I can just press R1 and I know, I know what I need to do. I like that. like that a lot. Ready to hit the road? Mila, you said it's north of here? How far? Less than half a day's flight time. If we could fly using Sylph's power. Mm. Oh, well, I'm afraid my wings are, you know, non-existent. Yeah, what he said. I hope we can find a place to rest along the way. The map showed a village in that direction, so we should be okay. <laughs> oh, what way, direction is that? We can't just stay here. We must press forward. I know, I know. It's like asking somebody where the bus stop is or where, 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 where freaking Starbucks is. Oh, it's it's there. Where the fuck is dirt? You're not even pointing. All right. Creeping suspicion. Is Milo really that Maxwell? She does act a bit nutty, but she looks normal enough. I think it's true. When I first met her, Mila had the four great spirits with her. What? Get out of here. No, seriously. Fire spirit Efreet? Water spirit Undine, wind spirit Sylph, and earth spirit Gnome. It was the first time I'd ever seen them in person, but there was no mistaking who they were. That's a mighty exclusive club. Can't imagine they hang out with a lot of mortal girls. Yeah. Yep, and if you know, if you've played any of the Tales of, uh, Tales of games, or the Tales games, then you know who they are. Those are the spirits. Those are... Each game is kind of separate unto its own. Wait, what's the inside and out? What, etc. Oops, gotta straighten my scarf. You sure do love that thing. Don't you? It's one of Fismage's finest. Custom made for yours truly. I don't know much about brands, but it does look good on you. You gotta be careful about what you wear, kid. It's how the world judges a man. I'd rather think what's inside is what counts. Yeah. And this is how what's inside gets projected to the outside. You don't believe some people shape what's outside in order to conceal the ugliness within? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can't see through a false front, isn't that your problem? So you blame the victims for being deceived. If that's really what you believe, Alvin, it tells me all I need to know about what's within. Oh. <laughs> I sure slipped up this time. Yeah, huh? that's a good one. Anyways, so each game is kind of separate unto their own, uh, but you know there are sequels, uh, Tales of uh, Tempest or Tales of it was an earlier it was a way earlier Tales game um, on the PlayStation that got a sequel. They they made them on the PS they remade them on the PSP as well. Uh, Tales of Zillia Two obviously uh, is a sequel to this. I mean, it, it's got some character crossover. It takes place in the same world, but by and large, different cast. T Tales of Symphonia 2, different cast by and large with a lot with lots of crossover in the same world. So there is sequels, but by and large, each game is separate unto themselves uh, with with a few things shared. Demon Fang, certain, you know, like 
abilities, uh, the HPTP system, the battle system, um, as far as mechanics go, and then there is uh, lore like the spirits, Undine, Gnome, Ifrit, Sylph. Uh, and there's there's a couple more, um, but like them, they're you know they're. It's kind of an intricate thing. If you've never played the Tales games before, or you've never gotten into them, you should really check them out. They're fantastic games, and they also keep throwing every damn script at me today. The four. Walking sure is grueling. That's unexpected coming from you. I'm just used to having Sylph fly me everywhere. The only time I ever really walked was when I used Undine to travel across water. Alrighty then. I see. Maybe this is your punishment for treating the four great spirits like your personal servants? I agree. Servants? They may help out now and then, but they're the ones who pester me. Uh, they're like a bunch of bickering in-laws that never go home. I like her face. Did you just call the four bickering in-laws? <laughs> Alrighty then, so we shall now we shall no longer ever refer to them as spirits or the four. They are now forever known as bickering in-laws. Oh, that was also hidden there. God, okay, partners in climb. I see what you did there, game, but stop giving me goddamn skits. Sheesh. Compared to Finlon's night climb, the sky in Ajul sure is bright. That's true. The spirit climbs here are much more stable. What are you talking about? What do you intend to climb? Uh. C-L-I-M-E. Surely the great Lady Maxwell knows all about the subject? Don't flatter yourself by assuming I recognize every arbitrary word you humans create. Ooh. Human arrogance can be so trying. Good job. Mila, yeah. do you know what Riza Maxi is made of? As if I wouldn't know? The power of spirits composes the entire natural world. Right. The term spirit climb refers to the balance of spirit power. When that power is out of balance, nature can become polarized in one direction. That's why there are unusual spirit climbs, like the perpetual night of Fenmont. I see. Thank you. Now I understand. You're very good at explaining things. My pleasure. Oh, I see how it is. I guess I'm just an arrogant human compared to little old innocent Jude. Apparently. Alrighty then, so I don't know which direction I need to go through. Head through the village to Niakara. Which direction would that be though? Um, I'm assuming not the left. I'm assuming you're right. That's where that's where I've been heading. That's where I'm going to keep heading. Um, and I don't feel like getting into any fights right now. So, there's that. <laughs> North region. Alright. Okay, I haven't come through here then. Alrighty then. New area. Um, yeah, screw it. Alright! Alright! Yep, that was quick. Even quicker for you guys. Um, alright, what do I... Do I wanna... I'm, I'm looking for items mostly at this point. I, I don't really care about going forward. I wanna find everything that there is to find. So we're going to go ahead and take this. What do you hold? Weird fragments. All right. Got a couple of those then. Oh, there was three. Ah, oh, there's a chest here. There's another bag over there. And fight. You have big hands. Interesting. No wonder you pack quite a punch. <laughs> I, um, thanks. Yeah, uh, she's, Mila's a little weird at times. Anyways, I was just trying to take this chest. God, wood chunks. Ten of them. Nice. All right. Then there's another bag over here. Ah, spiderwebs, alrighty. Anything, any shinies on the wall or in the trees? I don't believe so. Uh, that was the chest, right? Yeah. Okay. Keep my eye out. Because I didn't even know, yeah, see? I didn't know the shinies were in the trees last time, and I just walked by on accident and got it. I mean... They're, they apparently hide shinies in the trees. That's a mean thing to do. Fine, I'll take you guys out. Alright! Alrighty. I actually think I got... Yeah, max hits 15. I got over a 10 combo on that one. Finally! Uh, so there's a combo system. I, I never pointed it out before. The more combos you get, um, it increases... Uh, well, what's called... Uh, what is it called? I know, it's, I know this. Grade. 
that's it. I knew it. Anyways, um, you can... Uh, in previous games, it showed you how much grade you got at the end of each battle, but no longer does it show that apparently. Uh, but it is used between games, uh, between uh, when you after you beat the game and you go to a new game plus. Um, it comes up and says, "This is the grade shop. You can spend your grade, and you can get various things." I've explained what the grade shop is is before, uh, but a higher combo also gets you more grade as well. And I believe in the in the 360s and PS3 versions, the, the, the well, I guess at this point, last gen versions of the Tales games where you had achievements, higher combo also gets you, got you achievements and trophies. So that's a thing as well. I came into here for something. I don't remember what it was. Was it? Yep, titles are acquired. Uh, you also put titles as well. Titles are acquired by filling various conditions, such as gathering items or defeating new foes. Each title acquired grants a certain amount of great. Wait, what? Good thing. Good things those come to have a lot of great. Wait a second. Did they change the grade system? They m they must have. Titles are also another thing that have been around for a while. Like, Research Center Intruder. You defeated the strange girl with red clothes in the Laferet Research Center, so it get, got us this title here, um, which also apparently got us 10 grade. So we have grade acquired 10. Oh, and then there's... Okay. Jude and Mila. Mila and Alvin. Jude and... Okay, so... So that's for being linked. So, I said... Wait, wait. <laughs> So, grade is actually handled completely different in this game, apparently. You don't get it from battles whatsoever. You get it from unlocking things. I actually kind of like that a little bit better. I would I would assume that uh, things cost a lot less grade than in less, in, less pre, in, pre, in, in previous games. It used to cost, you know, a lot of grade. You'd, you'd get grade every single battle throughout the entire game. But if you're getting... 10 grade, 20 grade per one of these. I mean, but I like that. On, honors those who have reached the first milestone on their quest to find lots of random treasures. 27 out of 100. Pirate recruits, uh, item shop patron honors those who have reached the first milestone on their quest to raise the item shops level. So yeah, there's a couple of different titles. I guess they call it titles. It would, it would I think achievements, I think Either these are just locked, probably for other characters, or those are specific achievements. Otherwise, just doing various things. I don't know. I don't know if act the achievement or the trophies, I guess, would actually net you any grade. But that would be a good integration. You get the title, therefore you get an achieve uh, the trophy, and you get grade. That would be kind of cool, actually. All right, we're gonna save it real quick. I'm not leaving the area. All right, there we go. Um, let's go on down. Oh, there's a bag right there. Good. We're gonna take that. Beautiful feathers. All right, any any sparklies? I want the sparkles. Damn it. I'll take a chest too, but I want the sparkles. I like sparkly things and shiny things. I'm a man child. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and, and use two apple or not apparently i can't use apple gels um so in previous games i don't know if it's the same in this one there were titles for opening all the chests um so even if, if you have the max items of something but they're in a chest and you put them back it still claims the chest it still would say that the chest is unclaimed so what I do is I, if so, if that was two apple gels. Well, here's two more, but I'm full. So I see if I need apple gels. Well, in this case, I happen to not need apple gels. Maybe if it was the other gels for TP, that would have been nice. And I would have used them. Um, I would use the item, take the two and, and call it a day. Shinies. But, but in this case, I didn't need them, but I wanted the chest. So that's how that happened. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to fight these guys. In a couple of episodes ago, I said that I wouldn't expressly be running away from fights or trying to avoid fights. But, 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 I don't want to fight these guys. I don't want to. I don't like them. 
Uh, they're really easy, but they're just they're annoying. I, I, I don't know. I don't I don't like the fights. The beginning battles and, and and monsters that you fight in this in these games I tend to not like, but that's just my personal preference. We're not at Nia Kara already, are we? No, we can't be. This is that village, that mountain village. Wow, that's an impressive amount of fruit. What he said. I'm catching a whiff of cider. Oh, they must have orchards here. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors here. Do you live here, ma'am? I would hope so. I'm the mayor. You're a big mouth, lady. Is the right road to Nia Kara? <laughs> Nia Kara? Now that's a name I haven't heard in ages. What do you mean? It's what people called a long-forgotten village. I don't even know if it still exists. I heard tales of the village as a child. People claimed it lies beyond the Kijara Sea Falls. That's an interesting name. Find it? You need to cross some seriously rugged terrain to get there. It won't be an easy journey. In that case, we should probably rest here before heading on. Agreed. I'm afraid our little village doesn't have an inn. Not much call for one. But I've an extra room in my house. You're welcome to use it if you like. Very trusting Thank lady you, for you are. ma'am. Also, this village clearly looks like it's set up for uh, people to come in and and buy things and, and rest and they look like they make money off their 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 cider and their orchards yet she she clearly said we don't get many visitors enough for them to not have an inn i'm i'm our confused i i am our confused words the perfect catalyst so why bother taking human form at all spirits are really just masses of mana they can't interact with the temporal world in that state. For a spirit to take physical form, it needs a catalyst of a corresponding element. As an example, the fire spirit of Freak can take form as a blazing inferno. And as Maxwell, you can be any element, right? The human body contains all four elements, so it's the perfect catalyst for me to take a physical form. What would happen if you lost your catalyst? I would gather elements to make a new one, but I'd have to wait for it to grow up. Grow uh up? You mean you start as a baby? It's time consuming. But if you want to use a human form as a catalyst, you have to wait for the body to develop. That's so kind of creepy. Even the Lord of Spirits isn't omnipotent. Not in this human realm, anyway. Well, let's just be grateful she didn't go with the male model, eh? <laughs> Wouldn't bother me. <laughs> oh, you swing both ways? That's not what I meant. Good job. That was kind of a creepy conversation. Ah, food vendors. Sweet. I'll just have to cut that out. All right. Um, eating pre-made dishes grants special effects like HP recovery or experience boosts for a set number of battles. You can buy dishes at shops and use them from the item menu at any time. So there's no more. I hate that goddamn dog. I hope you guys can't hear him. Um, you, there's no more making food. They, they did away with making the food you purchase food also experience bonuses that was a rare thing but this clearly gives me a 30 percent experience for four battles and 30 percent gold i don't experience was slightly rare and maybe in some games in the late later um later cooking stages you got some gold and experience um increasing items but they were by and large rare so that that's kind of cool that you can just purchase it now so now I really want to want to do the food shop. Did I get any beetle? I got some spider webs. All right. Meat sauce, pasta, yakisoba noodles, and a whole crap of discounts. And then we're gonna give it to our weird fragments. And beautiful feathers. I want to get it to a. I want to try and get it to level five, but I don't want to waste. Wow, lots of discounts. I don't want to not waste, but I don't want to use the items for a shop that they don't belong to. If that makes any sense. Nice. Also, I can. Wow, they are expensive. So it doesn't increase the percent. It just increase. It just increases the amount of battles. But two thousand. So because I've reduced the cost of this one 
it would be 500 for eight battles. I would just have to make sure that I I use it every four battles. Whereas this is seven battles for 2,000, but in one use. So essentially you're just trading con money, convenience for money. That's actually kind of funny. But what we're going to do... I do want to buy some gold increasing. Can I only buy one? Oh, uh, that... Oh, see, that's a thing. You can... Okay, we'll buy one. I can only buy one at a time. That's okay. That would make sense then to buy a, a small, a medium, and presumably like a large or an, an extra large would be to... If you can only buy one of them, that would encourage you to, to, to have to go up and buy the next one up. Um, I am going to spend a little bit of extra gall this because I got the extra 1,000 from DLC. And I'm going to buy 30% gall increase. Um, I want to see how they work. I want to see if they work decently well. I mean, I get it. It's 30%. Um, so I would just want to make sure that I, I uh, use it on... I use it in areas that are I know are going to get me lots of gall, which I don't know any places that are, are like that yet so we'll just have to wait and see we're going to give wood chunks and wild grass for the armor shop get that to level seven hill guard i saw in there um and then do i have any what else do i have i've got these ironically all right uh armor shop where are you i don't want i don't want the food People, people, people have n want nothing to do with me apparently in this town. That's the mayor's house. If you want to speak to her, I reckon you'll find her inside. Well, good job. I will say this. I Suddenly, we're looking down on the world. Yeah, we really have come a long way. Oh, that's a beautiful scene. Um, I did, I, I did like cooking in the last games. I liked going around and find finding the mysterious cook. It was cool to see him hidden as as objects at? in the world. Nothing. Get lost. Wrong answer, Squirt. Now we really want to know what you're looking at. It's some sort of shiny object. It's my shiny object. Finders keepers. <laughs> Everybody likes shinies in this world, apparently. I'm not the only one. <laughs> Looks like a puzzle. A difficult one at that. How about this? Whoa, what's happening? This looks like our letters, but different. More like ancient writing. Well, let's see here. Heed my words, for I am Eifried, the intrepid explorer who has crossed the world's edge without fear. Alrighty yada, then. Yada yada, more self promotion. Uh, here we go. <laughs> At last, I have reached Terra Incognita. But alas, I am unable to return home. I shall take my many treasures, seal them in arcs, and scatter them about this land. It is my hope that they shall serve as beacons to those explorers who follow in my footsteps. I'm impressed, Alvin. But I still don't know what it means. I've heard of this Eifried. He's a legendary pirate. He raided cities all throughout Rize Maxia ages ago. He set off to find the end of the world and never returned. Or so the legend goes. Hmm. Nice of him to put his treasures in these boxes for us. The, the shiny box. Eifried's treasures? Oh, oh, I want to find him too. Maybe you should learn to read first, young man. <laughs> yeah, good yeah, she's idea. a good point. You'll all wait for me, right? And keep this I freed treasure stuff between us. Of course. Of course, little guy. As you travel about the various dungeons and fields along your journey, you may come across special treasure chests that contain strange, mysterious items. Ooh. These are known as Alfred's treasures. Be sure to seek them out. Alrighty then, so there's a, a side quest. Event list updated and we acquired an Alfred treasure. So, what? The jewel that possesses a mysterious beauty. Nope, don't, don't care, don't care, don't care. Did I, did I not put the... Hmm. Did I... Do I not put it in my inventory, apparently? I guess not. Alrighty then. Um, wait a second. I'm a dumbass. 
I forgot I have to activate them in the DLC menu. So in the last episode, I said that I got, I guess that's ruining the characters. Um, I guess that, that was a list of the characters, by the way. Don't look at it if you, <laughs> if you don't want to be spoiled. I said I got these things free DLC that I downloaded. Um, apparently I forgot to activate them. That was a thing. So I'm a dumbass. So now I have an extra thousand gold. <laughs> All right, you can you look kind you look kind of like Groose from Skyward Sword, but more womanly. That's kind of creepy to think about, actually. All right, Western District. Hi, old guy. My generation built this village as you see it today, but the original settlement dates back to the time of our ancient ancestors. Ah, pretty cool. Don't know whose home this is, but I'm coming in. How many times do I have to keep telling you this? Just stay away from that shed. Now I want to find this shed. And I found a napple. A, a red fruit that is a famous export of Hamel, known for its perfect balance of sweet and sour flavors. A napple? It's like an apple and a what? What would be the beginning portion of that? A napple? I don't even... Wild bird eggs, yay! So, thank you for letting me come into your home. Lovely home. I'll be taking this apple and bird eggs and leaving now. <laughs> Literally what just happened. Alright, where's this, where's this goddamn shed? I want to find this stupid shed. Shed, that's, that's the way out of the village. Shed. <laughs> I don't know if that's the, actually the way out of the village. Oh, no, that's more of the village, but... Um, I'm not done exploring this section of the village. What's up here? Shinies! I see shinies. Okay. One gold. Fruit of temptation. Napple fruits. No wonder it smells so good around here. Wow, look how juicy they are. Mm. Is that so? They look like they're at the peak of ripeness. Sweet with just a hint of tartness. That sounds... interesting. Uh, Mila, you're drooling really bad. For some reason, I can't make it stop. Sounds like your body is awakened to the joys of eating. Just keep those mitts off the merchandise. Our rap sheet's long enough as it is. <sighs> it looks like your body is opening up to the joys of eating. Literally is what has just been said. But now we know what an, an, a napple is. Uh, one more skit before the end of the video. Echo. What a beautiful view. I bet if I yelled really loud, it would echo back. So why not try it? You gotta do things like that while you're still young. When you get to be my age, it can get a little embarrassing. Yeah, all right, why not? Echo! echo he just yelled. Echo, echo, <laughs> echo. Alvin, 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 Alvin. Alvin. <laughs> and what you're doing now isn't embarrassing? A little, a little, a little. <laughs> All right, that was pretty funny. That was a high note to end this episode. That being said, this is the end of the episode. This is the end of Tales of Zillia. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will be back. I don't know when the next video is going up. Uh, I know they haven't been up recently. I say this after also just recording the episode before this. I should have said this last time, but been out for a couple of days. Uh, like two weeks or a week or so. Yeah, recording hasn't hasn't been the I haven't had the greatest of schedules for uh for recording and uploading. I'm sorry, but enjoy the videos while you, when you get them right. You you enjoy them. I hope for like the 50 of you that watch, sort of maybe. Well, thank you guys. Anyways, if you liked the video, please comment, subscribe, and thumbs it up for me. I would really greatly appreciate it. Share it with your friends on Twitter or Facebook, which you can also follow me on at least Twitter um, in the links below the description that, that, that show more button down there. It shows um, where you can find me on specific places. Steam, Raptor, uh, Twitter. I just said that, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Play more games and have a good day.